Here, I will introduce how to use Bootstrap 4 Accordion in Angular 8. As for how to set Bootstrap 4 from the project creation stage, please see how to set Bootstrap 4 environment in Angular 8, which I have already published. This time, we are going to download such a preset project from GitHub and then proceed with incorporate an accordion into it. For the contents of the project, we we'll see the full source code. First, download the full source code of the project incorporating Bootstrap 4 from the GitHub. The URL is https colon slash github.com slash old slash ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. When the page is displayed, click the green Chrome or download button on the right. Then the round address will be displayed. So click the copy icon on the right and copy the address. Open the command prompt, move to suitable directory and paste the copied address in that directory for git Chrome. Then the download will start. Next, enter the directory of the generated project. Start Visual Studio Code, type code dot. Once VS Code startup, Press Ctrl plus backcode to open terminal window and type npmi to install the required libraries for the project. This process takes some time. Next, check if the project can be launched. Type NDS-O. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop ups. OK. At this stage, make a backup of the source before change. However, since it is not necessary to backup related libraries, we are going to extrude files under node underscore modules. Since I have already included guardfile.js for such backup. We are going to ex execute it. Type guard-m initial. The dash m option is the string to be added to the created project name. Next, create a project for accordion test. Type guard dash m for accordion Next, open the file explorer. Copy the co uh, created accordion test project together with the directory. 
and paste it into the upper print directory. And change the directory name to g 8 with the full accordion. Then open the command prompt and change to this directory. And type call dot to open VS Code. Once VS Code starts up, press Ctrl plus backcode code key to open a tiny window. Next, we are going to change the contents of the project. First, change the project's name. If you open package.json file, you can see that the project name is ng8 bootstrap 4 initial. Change this to ng8 bootstrap 4 accordion. Click the search icon on the left to replace the source of the entire project. Next, there are Pascal cases, that is, they are separated by capital letters, not dash, so change ng8 bootstrap 4 initial to ng8 bootstrap 4 accordion. Next time, npm i to install the library again. This process takes some time. Also check if the project can be launched. Type ngs-o. The browser will open automatically with drop downs and drop apps. Okay. Next, open the site of ng bootstrap and refer to the sample program of accordion. The URL is https colon slash slash ng bootstrap dot github dot io slash hash slash home now click on the demo button and click accordion from the left menu and Global configuration of accordions is displayed. We are going to import this setting. First, click on the code button on the top right to display the source. Its source. First, copy the HTML sentence. Go back to VS Code and open app.component.html file in source app. Paste the copied HTML file. Also, comment out, pull down, and pull up related ports.
He turned to the browser and opened the file of TypeScript. First of all, it is necessary to add an import part. Go back to VS Code and open app.component.ts file in source app. Paste the copied import part here. Go back to your browser and copy the providers first. Return to VS Code. Open up the component of this file and paste the provider's port here. Return to the browser and copy the constructor port in the cross. Go back to VS Code. Open up the component.ts file and paste the constructor port here. Now, go back to your browser and open http colon slash slash localhost colon 4200. Recording is displayed. If you click the title port, you can see that its contents are displayed hidden. Also, for example, after clicking on the one title, clicking on the two title will automatically close the contents of the one title. Next, we are going to change the setting. First, change the color of the title ball. Return to VS Code, open app.component.ts file, and change config.type equal danger. Return to the browser and check in the display. The color of the title bar has changed. OK. Next, every time you click on the title bar, the contents of other title bar has been hidden. But we are going to change this. Return to VS Code. Open up the component of this file. Change to config.close others equal force. When you return to the browser and confirm the display, the contents of the, the other type of birds remain displayed even if we click on the title ball. Okay. Thank you for your watching.